Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be looking at the disturbance in the Gulf and also Hurricane Larry. Now before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Here's a 5 day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. As you can see, we have Disturbance 1 in the Atlantic right now, a 30% chance of a cyclone formation in 5 days, a 0% chance of a cyclone formation through 48 hours. We also have Hurricane Larry as of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. We have maximum sustained winds of 110 knots, 125 miles per hour, so a Category 3 hurricane as of 5 p.m. We have a, mi a minimum central pressure of 958 millibars, located at 17.4 north, 47.1 west, and movement is west-northwest at 12 knots or 14 miles per hour. Here's a forecast cone for major hurricane Larry. As you can see, it maintains a major hurricane strength by the time we reach around 2 p.m. Wednesday, where it starts weakening uh, as it heads more north, just beside Bermuda is expected to weaken back to a Category 2 hurricane, and it is looking pretty close to the U.S., so we're going to have a lot of more updates uh, coming from Hurricane Larry within the next uh, week. Let's look at the current sea surface temperatures as of 12 p.m. today, or 18Z. As you can see, we have some very warm waters, extremely warm waters still in the western part of the Gulf. However, you go more eastward, you definitely see more cooler waters, especially where um, Hurricane Ida did rapidly intensify. You're seeing around 28, 29 Celsius waters, and that's because it did take up some of those uh, warmer waters, extremely warm waters, and that's what made it intensify into a Category 4 hurricane. Almost reached a Category 5 hurricane, so that's why those waters are pretty cool over there. But we still do have some extremely warm waters in this whole region where that invest, Invest 91L, is going to be impacting. And we do have some marginally conducive environments, but we will have some unfavorable environments as well so that this will be impacting. So this is definitely looking like a kind of very weak storm. Um, we do have some intensity guidance that this may reach a, a tropical storm strength, um, but it's not going to be anything uh, really bad because we're going to see a lot of uh, kind of unfavorable ingredients come into place and that's going to make it really kind of come apart before it does reach the U.S. if it even does reach the U.S. Let's look at satellite imagery for Invest 91L. Here it is in this type of region right here and you're pretty much seeing some very distant organized showers and thunderstorms exploding right now around this low pressure. As you can see we are seeing some outflow and that is definitely looking like a tropical system that is trying to get itself together but we are seeing a lot of minimal showers and thunderstorms in this mainly in the very southwestern part we are seeing some explosive convection over mexico um but as you can see we are definitely seeing kind of a tropical system shaping up right over the central america slash mexico area and it's definitely going to be very interesting to see what this decides uh what it does we can look at the latest gfs model run and this is the 18z so around 12 p.m this updated as you can see um we have it pretty much uh intensifying in the gulf as you can see um that's about a trop possibly a tropical depression by then that's around uh tuesday september 7th as we move forward here you can see it, it intensifies into a tropical storm and 999 millibars that's a tropical storm or at least a high end tropical depression that impacts the louisiana coastline now as you can see that more that makes landfall over in the panhandle of florida so that makes an eastward turn that's because that jet stream kind of lowering more and it's being pulled more to the northeast as you can see that pretty much weakens back to a tropical depression and this is what's interesting this is going to be 186 hours out as you can see we have a hurricane that the gfs model is predicting 983 millibars that's going to be impacting pretty much the same exact area that hurricane laura did last year and that's going to be very interesting because that's not too far out that's only around 10 days away and it's definitely looking uh, like some tropical system is going to impact the Louisiana uh, coastline somewhere in the next um, less than two weeks or so. 
Uh, so it's definitely going to be pretty interesting here throughout the next two weeks as we could see possibly two different tropical systems that do reach the Louisiana coastline. Uh, we can even verify this by the CMC model and see if the CMC model actually does kind of agree. As you can see, it does predict a tropical storm, a uh, tropical storm-ish uh, over that impacts Florida. A tropical depression or a tropical storm. So it definitely does agree with that, but it does rapidly intensify much later on. Uh, as you can see, we have a tropical system, not exactly a hurricane, but we do have a tropical system again around uh, September 14th. As you can see right down here in Mexico, uh, possibly that that's the same tropical system, but except it's way more uh, south and in, in impacting Mexico. So it's going to be really interesting uh, to see well, what these two tropical systems that we're going to really keep an eye on here. Uh, we can even look at the icon model if you would like. As you can see, the icon model does predict a tropical system, uh, not exactly a tropical storm or anything, but definitely a tropical system impacting somewhere around the Texas, Louisiana, or pretty much anywhere on the Gulf Coast here of the USA that this tropical system can definitely impact. We're looking at about a tropical storm at this point, or at least a tropical depression that could impact uh, the Gulf Coast here, but definitely nothing like a major hurricane or anything because we are mainly seeing some marginally conducive environments that this is going to be impacting. And this is still around 96 hours from now or even more, a little bit of over 100 hours from now. So this is definitely going to change. So definitely stay tuned for more updates of Invest 91L and also that other tropical system that we saw impacting around less than two weeks from now. Definitely make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest update on the tropic. Anyways, stay safe.